Okay. Or is it Good to go. Smithers? Believe so. Okay. Um, I'll call the regular meeting to order. Call it to order at four ten. Um, okay. Is there a confirmation of quorum? A proper notice was given. I can confirm quorum and notice. Okay. We'll move on to the meeting minutes. They were distributed with the agenda. Um, everybody has seen those. Is there any comments or question? If not, is there a motion to approve? I'll move to approve the minutes. Okay, Damon, is there a second? Uh, this is Damon. I'll second that. To, or Brad uh, provided the motion. Yeah, sorry. Sorry yeah, about that. I got that. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion stands approved. We'll move on to the claims that were distributed. They total three million zero two two nine twenty one point three two. Um, Lawrence, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. It's a high dollar amount, but since it's December, that's a lot of that's just you know debt service and pass through for previous debt service agreements. Um, the next claim docket, we just I, I just got the second batch of debt service invoices, so. Those will be on the next claim docket, but that's pretty much all it is, is debt service, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Anybody have any questions for Lawrence? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the claims as presented? This is David. I'll second, I'll second it, it. Tony. Tony is a second. We have a motion, a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That motion stands approved. We we'll move on to item number five, FRC 01R121321, RDC electronic meetings policy. Um, so this is a uh, an electronic participation policy for the redevelopment commission to be able to, as we move forward and out of um, the COVID pandemic and emergency state, that Governor Holcomb has continued to um, renew over the last 20 months. Um, we felt that it was important to be able to allow our redevelopment commission members the opportunity to um, attend virtual meetings occasionally as needed. Um, so as you look through the exhibit of the partic participation policy, there are some um, some conditions in here that must be met um, for every three meetings. You have to at least be, I think, at two in person, 50% um, of the attendees. So a, a quorum always has to be present in person. Um, and I think there's at least, yeah, two consecutive meetings have to be, uh, or a member may attend two consecutive meetings by electronic communication. Um, but then the third meeting always then would have to be um, in person. So um, through the end of the year, again, it, we think that we might need one more redevelopment commission make meeting and we would um, reach out to you all and probably schedule that as virtual. But again, we do anticipate that the governor's emergency um, status for the state is going to end. Um, so this is a way to provide that flexibility um, for all of you and um, to make sure that we're doing everything in the correct way. So happy to answer any questions about this item. Any questions? So moving forward, when the rules change, you'll make sure that we know at a particular meeting how many you need there and, and where we're at. Correct. Yep. Anybody have any questions? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the resolution 01R121321? Ms. Anderson, I'll move to approve. Okay. Anderson, is there a second? Tony will second it. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion stands approved. We'll move on to item number six, FRC 02R121321. This is a re resolution approving the lease, the TX team. Jennifer, the shoe. Yes, this is a lease uh, for a portion of what uh, used to be a building owned by Meyer Najum. It's now owned by another group. It was actually high altitude with the previous owner, but that was Meyer Najum. Uh, this is for the city's health clinic. And in that clinic, you have a primary clinic with community health network. 
And then also you have another clinic space uh, for physical therapy services. Both of those services were being offered with a different provider previously, but the city was able or will be able to uh, obtain the services with these two providers uh, for a reduced cost and at a stable cost over multiple years. So you have the physical therapy contract that includes a rental payment and then the community health network. There is no rent payment with that agreement. Uh, this resolution also approves that agreement, but uh, the reduction in price offered by community is the basis for them not paying uh, rent for the space as well. So the city feels like it's a very good deal. Ultimately, those provider agreements will go to the Board of Works and perhaps the council, uh, but you just have the least case, the lease space uh, because of your lease for the Meyer Nation building. Any, anybody have any questions of Jennifer? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the resolution as presented? This is Damon. I'll motion to approve. Is there a second? This is Brad. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of approving the resolution as presented, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, same sign. Motion stands approved. We move on to item number seven, FRC 03R121321, the Geist waterfront items. Yes, Jennifer? so there was, yes, thank you. There is a temporary easement agreement put in place with American Tower who the commission sold a portion of the Geist property to American Tower. Their tower has been located there for some years but um, they had a lease agreement with the previous owner of the property. When the city acquired all of the property, uh, we wanted to terminate the land and we sold them their tower, but naturally they need access to it. So we gave them temporary easement agreements and those areas of ingress and egress will now actually, that were part of the temporary easement will become part, the beach part of our guys park so we need to relocate and put in place a permanent access easement that works both for Geist Park and its visitors and for the cell tower company. So there's no money being exchanged here. It's just a matter of terminating the temporary easement because we can't have it where it's currently located and putting the permanent easement in place. Are there any questions of Jennifer? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve this resolution as it was presented? I'll move to approve the motion. Anderson, okay, is there a second? I'll second that motion, Tony here. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That motion stands approved. So move on to item number eight, FRC 04R121321, Maple Dale, Trevor Lee, L LAA amendment. Um, so last month, if you'll recall, we brought forward the land acquisition agreement for the majority of the properties in the Maple Dell development. So this is south of 116th Street, um, just west of Chatham Tap and the Nickel Plate District. Um, J.C. Hart and uh, Hageman Group have been working together on that project. If you'll recall, we brought that project agreement forward. Um, but due to the price of the increasing price of costs and supplies, um, they've been a bit delayed in being able to bring that project to fruition. So this is just that last remaining land acquisition agreement that we're extending the, uh, the terms until March 31st of 2022 to align with the other land acquisition agreement um, amendment that was brought forward last time. Uh, so happy to answer any questions on this property and this project. Any questions for Megan? Megan? Somebody asking a question? Okay, hearing none, is there a motion to approve this resolution as it was presented? Motion to approve, Tony. A second? Damon will second that. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of approving the resolution as presented, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That stands approved. We'll move on to number nine, FRC 05R121321, the Anvil Lease 
Is this you, Megan? Yes. Um, so you might recall from a couple of years ago, we were able to help bring Anvil, which is a high alpha um, uh, backed company up here to Fishers. So um, it was a big uh, tech win for us. Um, and it's led by Robin Fleming, who's their CEO, and she's been an incredible partner for us here in Fishers. Um, the Redevelopment Commission, we've gone through her lease through COVID and helped extend some of the lease terms. Um, and now we have the opportunity to not only continue her lease in Fishers, which I think is currently set to expire in June, um, but also to help recruit and bring up another high alpha company, which is called Docket. Um, so Docket is more on the legal um, document management side, and um, they have a good connection and a great partnership. And just like Anvil, um, they have a lot of their staff that lives up in Fishers on the north side of Indianapolis. They were tired of having to commute downtown Indy for um, their office space that they previously had. Um, but then also since Anvil is doing a lot of hybrid, remote, and um, on-site work, Docket is doing the same thing. And so because of their pre-existing um, partnerships, there was a good opportunity to combine both groups into this space. Um, allowing them the flexibility that they need to do some hybrid work, um, but then also to be closer to where their employees live. Um, so the deal terms are almost the exact same as what we had before with Ianville. Um, so renting that same space, which is 2,400, um, just over 2,400 square feet. This is in the former Meyer Agent building as well, so up on the second floor. Um, they are paying $20.50 uh, a square foot, um, which is full service. Um, and this lease would begin on Janu January 1st of 2022. Um, we are providing for a two year lease with an early out, just like we've done with these other master leases, um, where if one of the companies hits 18 full time employees and both relocate within Fishers. Um, then there would be no early termination fees. So again, it's another great um, success story out of our master lease spaces that the Redevelopment Commission has participated in, um, allowing us to help support entrepreneurs, recruit entrepreneurial companies to Fishers, um, and it's another great story for us. Um, any questions about items within the lease? And it is a joint lease between both groups. Any questions of Megan about this particular resolution? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve as presented? I'll move to approve. <laughs> is there a second? I felt the tension. I'll do the second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of approving the resolution as presented signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion stands approved. We're going to item number 10, FRC 06 R121321 list project agreement. Yes, so this is our um, second project within our life science and innovation park. So this was um, a company that we brought before city council in November. Um, the parent company of this group is called Genome and Company, which is a publicly traded Korean company um, focusing on the microbiome space. Um, so that is um, a company that focuses on creating um, bacteria to treat different um, diseases and ailments that someone might face. So it's uh, another really exciting life science and pharmaceutical company for us. Um, the spin-off company that they have created called, is called List Biotherapeutics. Um, and just like with Stevenado and um, Incog, who you have all heard us bring before you as well, this is a CDMO, um, so it's a contract development and manufacturing operation. So um, this is another great example of this life science industry here in Fishers because it's companies, List Bio in particular, is contracting with um, the companies that are actually developing the drug, and then they are fulfilling that um, drug creation for those companies. So we're getting the benefit of the significant investment within this life science industry with all of these great jobs um, without the risk of some of this R&D and kind of long path forward for new drugs to be created um, and to get approval. So 
again, we're seeing a ton of success in the CMO and CDMO space, and um, we're very excited about this project. Um, so they plan for their first phase to build 110,000 square feet, um, investing, um, I'm sorry, 110,000 square feet and investing $110 million. Um, very similar for uh, the Seven Auto project. They're anticipating 200 new jobs um, with the average salary of $70,000 a year. Um, and as part of this project, we are providing them with 15 acres of land on the north side of the site. So um, it's right along 126th Street. Um, with this project, in the event that they don't do a future expansion, which they're kind of already planning for, much like Seven Auto, um, there is a certain amount of time that then they would have to give the remaining land back to the city. Um, and we're also doing a 15-year, uh, 50 percent um, personal property tax abatement for them, um, which is great for them because it's helping um, the, the personal property investment is one of the biggest factors as part of these projects, but then the city also gets the benefit of that revenue as well. So um, another great win for us and happy to answer any questions about this one. Any questions for Megan on this resolution? No, excellent work. Yeah, great project. Great project. Thank you. Okay. Hearing no um, questions, is there a motion to approve this resolution as presented by Megan? This is Brad. I'll move to approve the resolution. Is there a second? I'll second. Ms. Anderson. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, same sign. That motion stands approved. Do you have any old business? No. New business? No. Um, I mentioned this previously, but it does look like we might have a couple of last minute um, end of the year items that we'll probably ask Kay to send you guys an email for some times um, on like the 29th or the 30th before everybody goes and has fabulous New Year's Eve parties. Um, so stay tuned for that, but no other new items for my from my perspective. Well, for everybody, if it's before the holidays, everybody have a great holiday coming up and um, we'll meet whenever you summon us. <laughs> is there a motion to adjourn? There's a motion to adjourn. For a second? Second. See, everybody jumped in. When it was the motion to adjourn, everybody jumps on that one. Right <laughs> all, all, in favor all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. Merry Christmas. Bye, Merry Christmas. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.